So naturally radioactive elements either have a very long half-life for them to still be around, or they decay, they're formed by something else decaying. So a lot of times when a radioactive isotope decays, it forms a different radioactive isotope. So uranium uh, um, with atomic number 92, that is the heaviest naturally occurring element. There's nothing heavier that actually naturally occurs. Um, uranium-238 decays to thorium-234. That half-life is four and a half billion years, so that takes a while. This daughter nuclide, thorium-234, is radioactive. That decays to protactinium-234. That half-life is 24.1 days. So once the thorium-234 is formed, it decomposes fairly quickly compared to the original uranium. But that's a, a natural radioactive decay series. Goes from one thing to another to another. So, um, protactinium, that's PA, uh, that's also radioactive. That decays to a different isotope of uranium, and that half-life is 244,500 years. So again, another long one. It continues through several more steps, ultimately ending up with lead-206. Lead-206 is stable. It does not decompose any further. What this means is that all of the uranium-238 present in the environment is slowly disappearing because it's not being reformed by any process. It's very slowly disappearing, but it is disappearing, decaying. So the, all of those nuclides from that sequence are present in the environment, but in different amounts because of how long or short their half-lives are. So this um, is a graph that represents what's going on when uranium-238 decays. So here we have... No. On this uh, y-axis, we have the mass number. So high mass number, low mass number. Here's the atomic number. That's giving us number of protons. That tells us which element it is. So uranium-238 decays to thorium, which decays to protactinium, which decays to uranium-234, a different one, and then to thorium, and then to radium, and radon, and polonium, and lead, and bismuth, and a different isotope of polonium and a different isotope of lead, and then a different isotope of bismuth, and a different isotope of polonium. I, I think I got off track here. It's kind of hard to follow. Um, but you get the idea. Eventually, all of these things end up at lead 206. So the amount of lead in the environment is slowly increasing because it's the ultimate product from the decay of the uranium. Any questions? You do not have to know this series at all. What I want you to, to know is that any given radioactive isotope decays into something else, and that something else may very well also be radioactive and decay. And so elements are slowly changing into other elements. But this is a very small fraction of what's going on in the whole mass of the Earth. Very small part.